Automatic flight control systems. The primary function is stability augmentation. This is achieved by inner loop stabilization. In the inner loop, there's attitude sensing and error sensing. This leads to signal processing and movement of an actuator attached to a control surface which is outside the inner loop. There's feedback from the actuator to the signal processing unit. External inputs may also be applied at the signal processing stage. Examples of outer loop control modes are in the pitch axis manometric air data, altitude select and hold, vertical speed, airspeed select and hold, mark hold, pitch hold, pitch trim, turbulence penetration, vertical navigation. And in the roll axis, heading select and hold, bank hold, radio navigation, VORs, air navigation, inertial headings. The instrument landing system has in the pitch axis glide slope and in the roll axis the localizer. For auto land, in the pitch axis approach and flare, and for the roll axis runway align and roll out. There's also control wheel steering, touch control steering. So the inner loop has attitude sensing with gyroscopes and or accelerometers used to sense the attitude change of the aircraft about its principal axis. Error sensing is where attitude changes are sensed as error signals and are transmitted to the signal processor. During signal processing, signals are converted into a form for operation of the actuator or servo motor. The actuator converts signals into movement of flight control surfaces. Models which use gyro outputs are usually inner loop modes and stabilize the aircraft, for example, yaw damper pitch attitude hold and wing levelling. Interlocks. Before the automatic flight control system can be engaged, certain operating requirements must be fulfilled to ensure that the automatic flight control system can safely take control of the aircraft. Requirements are that the connections between system power supplies, elements comprising the system and the appropriate signal and engage circuits are electrically complete. A series of switches and or relays called interlocks which operate in a specific sequence are used to ensure satisfactory engagement and coupling of input signals from the outer loop. Outer loop control. In addition to stabilizing the aircraft the automatic flight control system can be used to modify the stabilized attitude of the aircraft. This is achieved by computing the necessary maneuvers from inputs such as airspeed, altitude, magnetic heading, interception of radio beams, etc. This is referred to as outer loop control. Coupling as a mode of operation is the provision of raw data inputs relevant to a particular flight path. This is done by selecting switches on the control panel. Hold lock is where an aircraft flying at a particular altitude is said to be in altitude hold or height lock mode, for example. Capture is the selection and interception of beams, for example glide slope capture. Miscellaneous. The basic autopilot functions are pitch and roll modes. Heading mode is when the heading select knob is rotated to select a heading. An error signal is induced which is proportional to the difference between the aircraft's heading and the selected heading. 
In part CAT, an operator shall not conduct single pilot IFR operations unless the aircraft is equipped with an autopilot with at least altitude hold and heading modes. Auto throttle. The throttle position of each engine is controlled to maintain a specific value of thrust as either rotational speed N1 or engine pressure ratio EPR or target airspeed. The auto throttle operates in conjunction with the automatic flight control system to maintain airspeed and vertical path in a flight management computer system, FMCS. With the automatic flight control system controlling airspeed, auto throttle controls engine thrust to a specific value. With the automatic flight control system controlling vertical path of the aircraft, the auto throttle maintains airspeed through thrust control. Stall or overspeed warning. Stall warning. The stall warning horn operates at a preset angle of attack. A stick shaker operates at a preset angle of attack and vibrates the control column. The stick pusher operates after the stick shaker and physically pushes the control column forward. Flat position may be compensated for and the system is inoperative when the aircraft is on the ground with its weight on its wheels. Overspeed warning provides audible warning of overspeed and is activated if the speed goes beyond VMO or MMO as appropriate. 